In this vid, I'm going to talk about the only thing that's holding you back and subsequently why pain is so difficult to let go. Why the whole world is saying, just let it go. And it's like everybody's like mentally ill or something. Like, why can't anybody let it go? Why is it talked about and talked about and talked about? Because the way you're being instructed to let it go is doing the opposite. It's actually keeping it on you. These are glasses. They're tangible. So I can drop them. Okay. Pain is an energy. You can't drop it. This is energy. You can't drop it. But there is one way to get rid of it. Before that, though, you need to understand that you cannot become a part of the new world until you get rid of your old world, aka 3D attachment to pain, shame, guilt, and blame. Those are the people who are, look, you cheated. I saw you on hinge and sminge and pointing out how wrong he is and pointing out how much bad he did to you as opposed to feeling the disgust of that and walking away. So you're trying to tread water and shit, trying to point out, this is shit, this is shit, look how smelly it is. But it doesn't occur to you to get up and go swim in the ocean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't occur to you to get up and go swim in the ocean because you're not in present energy. So if you're a woman, you're not in your earthborn sex's energy. You're in a masculine energy, which was brought upon by trauma, by having a need to protect yourself with a whole bunch of traits that really deteriorizes your soul, your health, your emotions, your body, and your mind. So there's a catch-22 here. You keep coming back to repay and replay all that you've gone through because you haven't been able to shake off the trauma and the shit that was done to you and the pain and the shame and the humiliation and stuff. So two things I have to say about that. This I share this vid. This is huge. You're not going to hear it anywhere else. First of all, when you have a need to go in an opposing energy, that's a faulty energy that's basically set up so that you find faults in yourself, your life and everyone and have that fault finding energy in you. So you attract that because law of attraction is you attract what you are. So if you're a woman of masculine energy because love works with opposite energies, you'll attract a man who's in a feminine energy. Now, when you get in this faulty energy, what happens is that it opens the portal into past energies of your whole life of rejection, of fame, uh, failure, of pain, of ridicule, humiliation, shame, anger, and guilt. So both men and women will, will have access to an attic of all these energies, aka experiences, and they're like an undercurrent in the ocean. They're all being brought to your present. So you can't be in your present because you can't be in the present and in the past at the same time. You can be fearful of the past and the future at simultaneously. Both of them makes the present a ghost town because you don't really exist here. Not only here's where it only matters because here's where your power is because when you're present, you're in a creation energy. Present energy is like a brand new baby that doesn't have any stain energies of who it killed in the last life or who it cheated or what was done to it. But instead... Both of you, masculine women and feminine men, are in an energy, which means you are, although you're an adult, you're an infantile energy. So the man acts very immature and has a temper tantrum. So the woman has to keep pointing out all the things that you did wrong and how she caught you in it, a.k.a. mother energy, a.k.a. investigator energy. Not in the empress energy of which she has an inherited birthright to get into. Not this beautiful aloofness of this, just this beautiful electric energy that just glows. And everybody just has to come and see what they can give her. Not that one. So the karma gets repeated over and over and over again because your past life energies... 
They're clinging onto you and they overspill in this life. They get triggered and activated when you're forced to be in an opposing energy. So a girl in a masculine energy and a guy in a feminine energy. I know because I read past life energies as a Heoka empath. That's how I get people to be present by to reroute them after we've put a spotlight on all the dark places of their past life energies that shows up at their landmines here. And when there's an there's a spiritual insight of, oh, I do that because of that. And it's a spiritual insight. It's a key that unlocks the energies of shame, guilt, blame, and anger. And so in that way, once you get rid of all those, you're in present energy. Karma stops. So it's not about karma. You have to pay back the million people you killed and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot simpler than that. Karma is the energies of the past that were under par or overused or misused. You picking a family that would set you up for all those negative energies so that you can relive them, make better choices, and transmute them so you don't have to play karma again and again and again. And you always know you're living karma because you're miserable as fuck. You actually don't realize that you need do nothing, but you still have so much faith in the body as a source of strength that it's fucking you up. And it's funny and ironic because you depend on the strength of your body when you're this humongous spirit having a human experience, but you're not present in the body so you can access that huge spirit and its powers to make shit happen. You're in the cage of your mind, only the bars are inside your head. Do you notice that guilt is only active in the past where you're scared you'll repeat it or in the future you're scared it'll happen? It's not active in the present ever. And do you notice also that guilt is always, always, always experienced as pain? So peace will never come. Peace will never come where you prefer pain. Remembering it, reminding them, reminding yourself, staying pissed. Now let's talk about dropping the energies. You can't just drop energies. They're not tangible. But this is how you can dilute them into the nothingness they came from. The mind always looks backward as to what's happened. The heart jumps and leaps forward with excitement, a lot of energy. The heart gets activated when you're present. When you get excited, you're in your, your rightful energy. And as you get more and more excited and that energy goes up, that little bit of other energy that's negative, it's, it gets snuffed. So you shift yourself into another energy so if you want to help someone, don't tell them to let it go. They don't even know how to start what, what. But you can tell them to just shift into another energy. At least they can grasp that idea. And shifting into another energy means being completely ODing on something you're very, very happy doing. You can't wait to wake up and do it. You can't wait to sleep and wake up and then do it. You like you think about it during the day and, and, and you're in this bubble of happiness that has to drown out the experience and the energy of sadness. Your bliss actually lies where you cannot see the past and you cannot see the future. You're all being bliss then. Feminine energy is a bubble of bliss because she's present, has no concerns because life actually has her back. She feels the magic of life having her back because everyone's giving her. Being present means loving something. And love can only come where it's welcomed, when it's safe to do so. So your excitement has to override your fear of anything. And you will feel that love.